Are you an investor thinking about investing in real estate through Fundrise? Well, in this video, I will tell you three things that all investors absolutely have to know prior to investing with Fundrise. Coming up. If you're new to the channel, my name is Trey, and I'm a crypto, stock, and real estate investor as well as a swing trader. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like and subscribe button and check out my entire Fundrise playlist down in the description below and up here. Now, let's get started. The first important thing to remember is that you should never invest more money than you can afford to lose completely. Now, guys, listen to me again. Do not invest more money that you can afford to lose completely. And this is not a joke. Now, think of an amount that if you were to invest it and never see that money ever, ever again in your life, that it would not change the way you live right now. Make sure you account for your mortgage, for your rent payment, for your car payment, and for your groceries. If you invest too much money all at the same time, you will not be able to make rational decisions regarding your investment. You will be constantly stressed. You will be constantly checking how your investment is doing. It is not good for your health. And ultimately, you will make a mistake because of the emotions that you experience if god forbid there's a crash or economic downturn the second thing that everyone should know is that you should never put all of your money all at the same time so let's say theoretically that you did your research and you decided that you could invest twelve hundred dollars a year in fundrise now should you invest these twelve hundred dollars all at the same time as a chunk or should you split it hundred dollars a month now usually if you're talking about traditional stocks and traditional investment platforms like Robinhood essentially what I would recommend is just dollar cost averaging in by investing hundred dollars a month now our fundrise is a crowdfunding real estate platform and real estate essentially is an illiquid investment it's a long-term illiquid investment if you have twelve hundred dollars to invest in fundrise a year i would recommend investing a thousand dollars right from the start because that will get you to this basic portfolio and they will give you access to the projects uh, inside this portfolio that ultimately will yield higher return so you would invest a thousand dollars right off the bat and then you would take those two hundred dollars and you would invest those two hundred dollars in a period of the next 11 months now it will be small amounts but the benefit that you're getting from investing in the basic as opposed to the starter portfolio will outweigh the dollar cost averaging benefits you would get if you were to invest hundred dollars a month it would take you 10 months in order to get the access to the projects in this basic portfolio however if you could get access right away you will get higher returns long term so with any other investment because of the volatility i would recommend dollar cost averaging but because Fundrise is an illiquid long-term real estate investment, it is very unlikely that you would invest at the complete top of the real estate market and lose the $1,000 that you invested. So the second tip is that if you have enough money to invest, invest at least $1,000 in order to gain access to the basic portfolio, which will give you access to projects that ultimately yield higher returns than the startup portfolio. And finally, the third tip that I would suggest to anyone that is thinking about starting investing with Fundrise is use a referral link. If you open a Fundrise account by using someone's referral link, both you and that person whose link you're using will get at least 90 days commission free. Now, why is that important? It is important because once you put money into Fundrise, it doesn't right away 
gets invested. So the way that crowdfunding platforms in real estate work is that they collect the money for the three months and then they take all the money from all different people. They pull them together. It's called crowdfunding. And then once every three months, they take that money and they put them into different projects that they have. So your money does not get invested right away. You will be paying the fees from day one on Fundrise. Now, what does that mean? That means you will see very, very little returns because in the beginning, the little profits that you will make daily from appreciation will likely get canceled by the fees that are, that are getting charged while all your projects and all your investments are just ramping up. By getting the first 90 days or more commission free, you will see higher returns in your investments faster because while you wait for your money to get put into different projects and those projects to start ramping up and producing some sort of a return you will not be paying the commission fees and you will see greater returns right from the start and ultimately the commission fees add up to about one percent yearly therefore if you get 90 days uh, free of commissions, you you you're technically saving 0.25 of a percent. Now, depending on how much money you invest, that could add up to very big amounts. Now, guys, if you would like to use my referral link, I, I will leave it down in the description below. Or if you would like to send me an email and learn more about this referral program, please email me at triple tray one at gmail.com and i would love to talk to you and answer all your questions remember that you never want to invest all of your money all at the same time always have some money on the side that that you are able to invest and why if by any chance an economic downturn or some sort of a crash happens instead of sitting on the sidelines and looking at your investments go down in value what you could do is you can actually buy more because you have that money on the side and you're able to invest it while the market is down. Now, if you could do that, if you could live through a crash and instead of just being scared during the crash, you put in more money as the crash is happening, you will see the greatest returns that you could in your entire life. So make sure you do that as well. Now, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Check out my entire Fundrise playlist. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.